Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft RTX video. Today we're checking out another shader resource texture pack for Minecraft Bedrock aka Minecraft for Windows 10 and I'm really excited about this one, it looks really cool as you can see, everything just looks so realistic and I'll show you the version I'm using right now. I'm using this one which is called Real Source RTX Texture Pack. Let me just show you in the settings, global resources and which ones I've got active at the moment. So as you can see, I've got the Real Source Pack enabled. It's in beta version 6.1 and I've also got several add-ons enabled as well alongside. So as you can see, I've got the glowing ores, glowing stones, modern living, furniture add-on, connected glass, mirror block which is really cool and also windy grass as well and currently I am using the RTX test world which the creator of this resource pack has also given us for free and what I'll do today I'm just going to run you by this texture shader pack and then later on I'll show you how to download it and install it for free from the creator's website. Do make sure to hit that subscribe button guys and you will be kept up to date with any RTX related video that I post on here. You can also go to the playlist section and where it says Minecraft Bedrock Windows 10. If you click on view full playlist you'll see all the other Minecraft RTX videos that I have created recently. And do check this section out, there's a few RTX shader packs here that are really cool and are worth checking out definitely. I mean if you look at that, that just looks really amazing. Look at those reflections there, it just looks so realistic, completely changes the game and this is what we want RTX to look like when we enable it. Because normally if you did want to enable RTX you would have to go into the marketplace and you would have to search for Nvidia. After searching for Nvidia you would have to download one of their own created RTX worlds which would then allow you to enable ray tracing in your video options. So if I go to settings and then video, scroll down here. So as you can see, ray tracing is enabled in this world. Normally, if you're running the default game, you would have to use Nvidia's own created worlds to enable that slider. Otherwise, on a normal survival world or creative world, it won't let you do that. But yeah, as you guys can see, look at these textures. I really like these stone blocks. This looks so cool. As you can see over here. Completely changes the game. As the name suggests, it's a realistic modern living sort of texture pack. As you guys can see there is also a mirror as well so if you press f5 get your character into third person view as you can see there's a mirror over here so you can see the reflection of the character on the mirror on the wall there another nice touch by the creator that's been added to the game i think that's really cool as you can see over here we do have a swimming pool as well check it out look at those water graphics there as you can see water is rippling and then we've got the glow inside here as well these blocks also I think this looks so nice you can actually see the reflection of the house onto there which is all enabled by the RTX elements of the game so yeah, this Minecraft RTX shader pack, texture resource pack is really cool. I highly recommend you guys try this one out. Everything just looks so nice. We are in nighttime at the moment. Let's turn it into daytime. As you can see, the reflections there on the wood and the blocks really nice I 
also the sun looks quite nice as well nice and rounded there we go and look at the sun's reflection in the water there you can see it's also rounded so it's not squared off which is nice as well So yeah, the creator of this resource pack has given us this world, so you can actually just download it, try it out for yourself, see the different elements of it. Let me just turn it at night again. As you can see, we've got the uh, glowing ores here as well. It's quite nice. Completely revamped from the original glowing ores there. To run this pack, it is quite important that you have two things. One of them is that you have a RTX compatible graphics card. So anything from an RTX 2060 or higher and you should be good to go with this. Also, it's quite important that you own the full game of Minecraft RTX and that you've got a Windows 10 Microsoft account as well. So if you're enrolled in any beta versions, please do make sure that you unenroll from them and you are running the normal game, basically. So look at that, looks so cool. I really like the wood as well, the textures that are used in the wood here, as well as the water and the blocks as well. It looks so nice. As the name does suggest, it is a real, realistic type of texture pack, so it is called Real Source. It gives you that real feeling as well in the game. As you can see, there's a mirror there. Our character is reflecting off that mirror there. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually install this and download it completely free. All right, so the first thing you need to do is if you open up your internet browser, start typing in real source RTX. And it's normally this first link which is the author's main website that I download all the stuff from. So it's realsourcepack.com and I will leave a link in the description below so you guys don't have to look for it. All right, so this is the author's main website. As you can see, if we click on the download section, we click on this bit here, which is download 128px version and it should start downloading for you. All right, so I'm also gonna download one of the add-ons as well. So let's download the mirror block add-on. So click on download. It's gonna start downloading that as well. And finally, I'm gonna show you where you can download the world, which the author has created, where you can actually test out the RTX elements. So if you just scroll down, click on download, scroll down where it says YouTube world, click on this, and then click on download map. All right, so once you've downloaded all the files, as you can see, I've placed them on my desktop here. So I've got the resource pack here and it says it's a MC pack extension file. Then I've got the add-on here, which is an MC add-on file. And finally, I've got the test map, which is an MC world file. So all of these are different extensions. And it's really simple on how you can actually install these. All you do is just double click on these and it opens up the game and it starts importing them into the game. As you can see in a minute, it will do that. There we go, so it started importing it and it should say it's successfully imported. There we go. All right, so if you are installing other add-ons as well, 
once you've done that, you can just exit out of the game and then just run the other file as well. Double click on that. It will do the same thing. It will say import and it will start importing it. There we go. All right, and then finally we can import the map. So um, all I'm going to do is double click on this RTX test map and it's an MC world extension file. And just like the add-on and the resource pack, it should start importing it as well. It will say level import started on the top there and it's done it successfully. Okay, so that once you have done all of the files, you've imported them and you've got the successful message there on the top. If you click on settings, and if you scroll to where it says global resources, and as you can see, we've got three sections here, active, my bags, and get more bags. In the active section, it will have the default Minecraft texture pack here. If you click on my packs, you should see the real source add-ons and the real source texture pack that you just downloaded so first of all if we enable the texture pack to begin with and then i'm going to enable the mirror block as well and i'm going to enable all the other add-ons as well that i downloaded so windy grass connector glass furniture add-on modern living glowing stones and glowing ores as well these are all the other packs I've got from different authors, so just ignore that for now. So once you've done that, as you can see in the active section, I've got nine files there. So you can actually choose which ones you want to enable and disable after you've downloaded them. If you do want to uninstall these or get rid of them from your system, you can't do them from this section. You have to click on storage and then you have to click on resource packs. Look for the file you want to get rid of, click on it. And then you'll see the spin icon here and if you click on the spin icon it should uninstall it for you all right so let's go back and as you can see it's changed the main menu as well so on my one it says minecraft powered by a real source rtx texture pack and the background is different so we can see that this pack has been enabled all right so to actually load up the world for testing all you do is just click on play and it should be here in your world section. So it should say RTX test map 1.1. And all you do is just click on that and it should load you into the game. All right, cool. So we are inside the game, as you can see. Everything has been enabled here. Do you have the RTX enabled? And because we are in creative mode, you can just double click spacebar and start flying around. As you can see, there's so many different things you can test here. Let's go back to this house area, which is because I think this place just looks amazing. You can see the sun's reflection there as well. I really like this swing pool as well. You can see the reflections there. I like the sun's reflection on the water there. It's quite realistic as you can see, it's like rippling in and out. And then we've got the rays coming in as well from the sun there, as you can see. So nice. And do bear in mind that I am actually running this on a lower RTX setting. So if we scroll to the video settings and go down, you can see the ray tracing render distance. I have got this set to 12 chunks. Now, obviously, if you do have a powerful graphics card, you can up this all the way to 24 chunks. And you should see some more improvement as well. Luckily, it's running fine for me, but if I go out in the open, it will slow down a bit for me as well. It's all dependent on how your graphics cards can 
output the ray tracing. But yeah, hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a thumbs up and click on that like icon. If you do have any questions or queries, please do leave them in the comment section below. Please do hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date on any RTX videos that I do post in the future. Do check out the playlist section as well for my other RTX related video content. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. No. Uh...